New revelations this morning about the relationship between our 41st president and his president's son in the days after Hurricane Katrina as George W. Bush faced a lot of public outrage over his response to the disaster. His father, President Bush, wrote this to a friend. My heart went out to him. Here is a guy who cares deeply, who wants every possible resource of the federal government brought in to bear to help people, yet he is being roundly accused of not giving a damn. The critics do not know what's in 43's heart, how deeply he feels about the hurt, the anguish, the losses affecting so many people, most of them poor. The reflections are revealed in an updated collection of the president's personal correspondent called, correspondence called All the Best, George Bush, My Life in Letters and Other Writings, and it's being released today. Doug Weed served as a special assistant to President George H.W. Bush and also an advisor to his son, George W. Bush. Nice to have you with us. Thanks for talking with us. Thanks, Solo Dad. So let's start with Hurricane Katrina because that's a story I know really, really well, and I spent a lot of time in New Orleans. And I remember covering that story and getting the sense that it was a, a disaster on the ground, but also a big disaster for, for President Bush. So to read a little bit of that letter where uh, 41 believes that somehow his son has been sort of Miss in, inappropriately blame for the mess, um, I found that a little bit strange. I guess a lot of the take is, is more about a, a father than a president. Yes, uh, you know, Barry Phipps writes about this and speaks about this and says that what we say about a person's children is far more impactful than what we say about them. <laughs> so he, the president's being very human here, uh, the former president, and expressing how hurt he is. And he's He's touched a raw nerve. This was a serious political problem for his son. He goes on to write, 61 years ago to this very day, this is the same letter, I was shot down by the Japanese over Chichijima. Now I see some of his most nasty critics trying to shoot down my beloved son, shoot him down by mean-spirited attacks. I was a scared kid back then. Now I'm just an angry old man hurting for my son. Again, that was kind of an interesting connecting between, you know, my son as the, the victim when his son is the president of the United States, really responsible for, for how that disaster was, you know, being rolled out. Well, he's showing the vulnerability of the moment. And, you know, I, I think this is one of the greatest books ever written by a former president because it's not stream of consciousness, it's stream of heart. It's, it's how he feels. And public figures will give you dates and times and quotes, but they guard how they feel. And here uh, the former president is letting it all out, and he's hurting very deeply. And it's revealing to me that the illustration he uses is when he was vulnerable. It wasn't that he was hurt so badly, uh, the, ch uh, the shot, shot down over the Pacific, as much as he was very vulnerable, dependent on others. And I think they felt that political vulnerability at that time. Hey, Doug, as a, his Roland Martin here, as a historian... Hey, uh, are you somewhat saddened by the fact that few people today actually write letters? Hmm. Uh, when you look at the audio tapes of previous presidents, that we're not going to have the same sort of uh, look into a president's mind or former president's mind because they're not communicating the way they used to for us to be able uh, to analyze what they say and what they thought. That's a very good point, Roland. And, and he was a great, uh, and is still, a great writer. Uh, you know, there's one point, though. <laughs> he was a tweeter before Twitter <laughs> because his, his little notes, they were short. They, they were not long essays. Right. They were, In the margins. They were <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. And uh, yet they revealed a lot. Let me read another bit. This is um, a letter from the day that the U.S. tanks rolled into Baghdad and, and Saddam Hussein's regime fell. And he, he wrote this uh, to his son. I guess it's an, an email to his son. Bar, as in Barbara, and I are at your side. I hope you can feel it. We will stay out of the way, but I am there beside you, my heart overflowing with happiness on this day of vindication. No doubt, tough times lie ahead, but henceforth, here and abroad, there will never be any doubts about our commander-in-chief, about his leadership, about our boy, George. You know, th th that phrase, our boy George, my boy George, actually got him into a lot of trouble at the 2000 political campaign. George H.W. Bush did a, fund or did a political event for his son, W., during the 2000 primaries, and he introduced his son. He goes, my son, my boy, George W. Bush, <laughs> and he was ridiculed for that right there. It sort of demeaned his son, who was running for president, and, of course, John McCain went on to win that primary. There are some very interesting words in that, right? The vindication part of that. We're talking about the... The, the rolling into uh, Iraq and the fall of Saddam Hussein and, and some of this letter, as much as it's George H.W. Bush writing to his son, mm -hmm. it's a lot about George H.W. Bush, really. 
It is, it is. And the word vindication, you know, we, we have to remember that Saddam Hussein ordered the assassination of George Herbert Walker Bush. And before the Iraq war began, Uday Hussein, the son of Saddam Hussein, publicly announced, let not he who attacks us think that his mother and children will be safe. So this was a vindication. That word <laughs> is very revealing. I think historians are going to have a field day going over these notes. This is a great book. And he says, uh, never any doubts about his leadership, about our boy George. I think uh, historians will also be really obviously in looking into that as well. Nice to have you with us this morning. Um, Thanks, the, uh, the, the, Thanks, the, I want to read name the, the name of the book is... Um, all the, All, the All the best. I know, sorry, it's, a lot, it's hard to read from here. All the best, George H.W. Bush. Thank you, Doug, for talking with us this morning. We appreciate it. I had this morning.